Here's a little tip for uh, cleaning up a cock cylinder. I uh, just got a drill. This is uh, kind of like a polish grade uh, version of Scotch Brite that I got from Lee Valley. It's pretty benign, um, but it's going to do a good job of just uh, getting a mirror somewhat. Well, it's going to knock the rust off and uh, clear off some of the varnish buildup in here. So, yeah. Yeah, I find that does a decent job. Yeah, what we're going to do here is uh, reset the uh, um, the lash between the ball and socket connection in this Cox 049 engine. Uh, this is the tool that you can get from uh, Cox International. It consists of an anvil and a striking anvil. And you can see this has got this taper in there and a machine slot cut for the connector rod. And it just fits together like this. Line your slot up. All right, you can see that. And uh, yeah, you just kind of give it a couple whacks with the hammer. Uh, I like to turn it 90 degrees and give it a few hits. Just light. Let the hammer do the work. Let the hammer fall from like maybe six inches or something like that. Three taps and then give it a turn. And what you're doing is you're shrinking the steel back around that uh, ball and socket joint uh, to tighten it up and uh, this will help if you find you're kind of down on power and having irregular running conditions and things like that or on a new to you motor this one's new to me i just tune it up get it going again it's uh, cox to d it should run pretty good when we do this uh, the piston was seized in the cylinder uh, pretty good and I had to do a little bit of uh, heat treatment with a heat gun and my temperature meter. And well, what I found is if you heat stuff up to about 200, 230 degrees Fahrenheit, it tends to loosen most things up. So if you're doing bearings in a nitro engine or whatever, it seems to work for this too. If you got your if your piston seized in your, your cylinder here on something that's been sitting and all gummed up with castor oil, a little heat uh, takes it right apart. I like to go in 90s. Uh, check it. Still quite a bit of play. Just keep going until uh, you kind of lose all that play and then you're good to go. So there we go. Got it pretty much reset here. Um, you can just feel the slightest bit of play in there. It's really not a lot. This isn't stiff, it still moves freely.
holy smokes let's talk about that engine run uh wow uh measured about you know 19,500 ripums let's call it um yeah didn't expect that this is a 5x3 APC. Uh, it's, I think it swung this with authority. I had like very low expectations for this engine. I found it in a pretty sad state. I wish I would have took some before pictures, but it, it, I think it was put away. It's new to me. I got it from a really nice guy. Um, but it, I think it was put away with a bunch of fuel in it, unfortunately. And uh, this side of it was heavily, heavily oxidized and the piston was... Uh, legitimately rusted into the cylinder <laughs> and i'll have a few clips here on how i tuned this up and got it to run like that um if, if stay tuned for that it'll, it'll all be the same little video there but yeah i i, I didn't i wish i would have took a i kind of cut out starting it because i started with a, a glow igniter that was weak and so i was flipping and it wasn't going but once i put a charged one on there it was one flip and it fired right up and away she went so yeah, you know, um, to these man, they're 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 screamers. I'm super stoked. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I think I'd like to build some kind of foam wing combat control line rig for this. I think it would be right at home and pull that with authority and be super duper fun. The power to weight ratio with this is insane. Like I'm I'm shocked. Um, I don't have, I haven't run, I don't have much experience with today's, but so far I'm super duper enthused about it. I feel like it's a 20,000 RPM motor easy with just doing a couple minor things, like maybe throw a high compression head on it, maybe run some fresh fuel and not something that's three years old that's may or may not have the advertised nitro content anymore, but hope you enjoyed that.